Hi everyone, Carol Brightbill. I want to show you how you can add a custom domain to your Google site. To give you a little background information, I've opened up one of my Google sites. This is the editing area. When you go to the upper right to the publish and I select the drop down arrow and I want to view the published site. You can see the URL starts with sites.google.com forward slash view, and it's not a very good URL for your website. But for this website, I have purchased a custom domain. So let me open up a new tab and type it in. Now you can see how the URL is much nicer and much more professional. Let me show you the three steps that you have to do to accomplish this. Fourth step could be that you need to go and purchase that URL, but I'm going to show the video after you've purchased your URL. I'm in the edit version of my Google site and I'm going to go up to the gear and from the gear you'll see in the left menu, fourth item down, it says custom domains. Selecting this, I'm going to also select start setup. Here's where I'm going to type in the name of the custom domain that I've purchased photography by Carol. Com. Now you can see it comes up and it says it's not a verified domain and I need to verify my ownership. I'm going to click verify ownership. This takes you to the Google search console where it's auto filled with your URL. Select continue. Now there are two ways that you can verify your domain by a text record or by a C name. I'm going to actually select by the C name. What comes up is two areas that I have to copy into where I purchased my domain from. Wherever you've purchased your domain, whether it's GoDaddy, Squarespace, whatever, will have a DNS area where you will have to go to put this information. Open up a new tab and I'm going to go to Squarespace. This is where I've purchased my domain. Select my icon picture, going to domains, selecting the domain that I've purchased. And here where it says manage domain settings with Squarespace, here's the edit DNS. In the DNS settings, Squarespace has its own default records here and we don't want these. I'm going to trash them and get rid of them. I want to add my own record. I'm selecting add record. This is where I'm coming back over to the Google search console, the C name label. I'm going to select copy coming over here. This is where I'm going to paste in the host area. The type is going to be the C name. Coming back over to the Google search, C name destination. I'm going to copy this. Coming back over to the alias data. I'm going to paste that in there and I'm going to select to save. Now let's come back over to the Google search console and I'm going to select to verify. Success, I've been verified as the owner of this Google domain now. Let me select go to property. In the property now for the Google search console, you can see my domain now is at the upper left here. I want to come down to the settings. And here's also in the settings, the top part, it says ownership verification. I am the verified owner now of the photography by Carol. I'm back in my Google site and I'm going to restart up the setup and I'm going to select next. Now this message comes up, gives me different directions on setting up a C name in my web provider. So what I'm going to do, it says under the C name, enter the www and the destination. You want to add this part here, including the period. So copying this, going back to Squarespace, going to my domain, manage domain settings and edit DNS. I'm not going to delete this. I'm going to add a record and this record is going to be the www type here is C name and I'm going to paste that in there selecting save coming back to my website. I'm going to say done. Now there's not a red message in here. So I know to wait at least 24 hours to see if my website is live. So we'll be back. So I've waited a few hours from the change that I did in the DNS and let's see if it's working. Let's open up a new tab and I'm going to type in photography by Carol. There we go and boom, it worked. So as I said in the beginning, there are the three steps you have to do. One, 
you have to go to your edit in your Google site and you have to go and add your custom domain in the settings. Two, you have to go to the Google Search Console and make sure you're the verified owner. Three, you have to go to the DNS settings in your URL provider and I added two C name records and that's what I needed to do to add my custom domain. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great day.